All right, no time to explain, gang. Welcome back for another video. King Zeph here. Happy Thursday for all of you guys. Hope you've been enjoying your week. I'm going to do a quick unboxing video. It's going to be part two of the Legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon search. So, of course, we have another box of the 2022 um, Animation Chronicles. We opened 2022 a couple weeks ago, the first one. Um, I think we're only missing one Advanced Crystal Beast card out of here and also the rarity bump of uh, Advanced Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Yes, that's the right card. It's the name. I almost forgot which one it was. I might also. I think the one I'm missing is Ruby Carbuncle, if my mind serves me correctly. I'll look at the other cards later and see if I can complete the set and possibly get the ultimate rare version of um, uh, for the uh, Sapphire Pegasus. But ultimately, we're looking for that legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, I figured that I'd crack another one of these open since I did get another one of these. Um, pretty much anything from the OCG Japanese sets, I get them from the Yugi Market. That link's down below in case you guys are interested in the OCG products. Um, very great resource for those that live in America to get those cards um, shipped over here for a very decently affordable price and avoid a lot of the shipping and taxes and everything on that side. I think they charge a flat rate ship um, and then they pretty much do everything as a two day FedEx. So when it ships, you'll rel relatively get it within two to three days if it ships at the beginning of the week. But all that link information is linked in the link in the bio. So check that out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for any future content and videos. Still trying to reach 500 subscribers so that we can do our very first giveaway. So if you like this content, share it with your friends. Um, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment. Tell us what you're thinking. Tell if, you pull, if I pull anything that you guys are looking for. Um, and we'll just go from there. So don't want to waste a whole lot of time. Let's get this thing opening since we already opened this once. Um, pretty much a lot of these cards are going to be pretty much the same unless we get a rarity bump. So let's get this going. Alrighty, unboxing knife, Animation Chronicles 2022. Um, I'm going to eventually purchase another box of 2023 because I still want to get that Exodia piece. Of course, a quarter century secret rare in that one was um, the Junk Warrior, which I think is an alternate art or just a new version of it. But I really don't care so much about that card. We did pull it. We just didn't pull it, the um, quarter century version of the card, which is not really a big of a deal. The only thing I really care about is that Exodia piece to have an OCG version of the five pieces of Exodia since they're reprinting those. But per usual OCG stuff, 15 packs. Uh, I believe there's just five cards per pack in these because this is like, this is basically their version of Battle of Legends that just came out from not too long ago where you have five cards per pack. Um, the differences with this one is that they actually come in the normal rarity. So commons, parallel, uh, secret, super, and all the other stuff as opposed to the um, TCG versions that are either ultra rare or secret rare. So there will be commons in here. Um, that'll, that'll be pulled, but for the most part, I think we almost pulled almost every card in the set other than the rarity bumps for a lot of uh, these cards. And of course, clearly that super rare blue eyes white dragon. So if we pull that blue eyes white dragon, that'll be the end of the opening of this set. Um, and we'll be moving on to the next one possibly. So um, of course I can barely remember what most of these cards are called. Um, I know that's one of the cicadas. Don't remember what that one was called. Um, and then we have Amber Mammoth. I'm going to separate the uh, the Crystal Beast just to make sure I have to keep, uh, keep all the collections. Um, to my knowledge, I think only the Pegasus and Pegasus, the Panther, and I think Ruby Carbuncle are the three that actually come in a rarity higher than um, higher than common. Uh, they might come in the parallel, which is this is a parallel rare right here. Um, but last time I looked at the card library in terms of um, what the rarity is and what was the card list out of its set, um, only the only two to three. I know Peg, uh, the Pegasus comes in a higher rarity without a doubt. But that's the most powerful and dangerous of the Crystal Beasts. Um, but I think Ruby Carbuncle, which is another popular one, comes in a higher rarity. Not a really, really high rarity. I think it only comes in super rare. And then the other ones either come purely in common or in parallel. So we'll get some affirmation on that. Um, this is, of course, um, in Wave. Doodle Beast. And whatever that card was, and then the shark. So I'm gonna keep it moving. This will probably be my shortest unboxing video because, of course, I don't have to explain all the information about the set. I did that in the first video. You can check that out in the library. I'll probably link it at the bottom. It's another Crystal Beast. This is, um, I always forget the bird's name. Um, I don't, I don't know. My, my brain's hurting. <laughs> Sorry, it's late in the day. Dice, um, dice board. Tamagotchi Warrior, this uh, Cicada Spell, and then Clock Tower. Oh, well, what's this? Clockwork Prison. And he's in super rare. So this was the first holographic card we actually get out of the set on that, on that one. Pulled that one before. 
I don't remember what that card does. The last time I read it, when I was reading the English version of it, it actually was not a terrible card, but I think I don't have a deck to play with it. So I'll have to go back and check that out a little bit later. Uh, Royal Flush. Uh, the Dino Tank. Um, the Orgoth the Relentless Dice Board card. The regular common version of the Shark. Followed by Ultra Rare of the G Golem. Um, this isn't the boss monster, but it's one of them. So... Nice version of that one. I didn't, I forgot which rarities I got this, uh, the other cards. I'm gonna have to probably pull that box out and actually look at them because I don't remember what rarities I pulled. Um, which holographic cards I pulled and which ones I didn't. So I have to double check that later. Crystal Skull, Dragon Nails. Uh, this is, what is it? Amethyst Tiger. So another one of the Crystal Beasts. One of um, three of the seven we pulled so far. Toolbox. Up oh, and there is Ruby Carbuncle and Super Rare. I think this is probably the one I was missing. So now we have that in a super rare, and I believe that's the only rarity it comes in. Um, and that one doesn't come in a common. I think it only comes in a super rare. It might be ultra rare, but I know it doesn't come in the ultimate or collector's rare. That one is reserved for Pegasus. So the fact that we got it is really cool. And opening this pack, we have Topaz Tiger. So we'll go ahead and add that to the list over here. So we have one, two, three, four, five of the seven Crystal Beasts. Stonehenge, another one of Cicadas. Can't remember what that card was, and this is the Doodle Beast Trap. Showing the next one. Still no sign of... So what are the two we're missing? We're missing the Turtle and we're missing Pegasus. And then I'll complete the set out of this. This, uh, Rollerball, common of the Doodle Beast Trap. One of the G Golem Normal Monsters. And then of course, so they do come in a Parallel Rare. So this is the Parallel Rare version of um, Cobalt Eagle. There we go, that's what it's called, so. These do come in a parallel rare. They don't come in um, super rare or ultra rare or the high rarities. They just come in parallel and common. So that is nice to know. All right, the Amazon Trap. Can't remember what that card's name was. Um, per Imperial Magician. <laughs> um, UTC. And another ultra rare. This is the ultra rare of the Doodle Beast. I think we pulled this one last time because this card looked very familiar in terms of the ultra rare. So I think I might have pulled this one in the last time we did this opening. It was either that or it was the other Doodle Beast because there's only two. There's two Doodle Beast monsters and then there's the trap and magic cards that go with them. Alrighty, so another of the Amazon trap. Uh, Link Apple. I finally remember what this card is called. G Golem Heart. It's a crystal Skull. And then a parallel rare of the dino tank last six packs or five packs all right we're followed by another g golems uh, monument g golem that doodle beast up there is the um ah I'm dropping the cards <sighs> what is it emerald turtle um advanced crystal beast um emerald, um, emerald turtle so we are missing one, which is Pegasus, and we'll pull the whole set. Followed by the Collector Rare. I was not expecting this. We pulled a Collector Rare. This should be the G Golem Boss Monster. So this is a nice little collector. And then just so you guys know, like I said, I think I brought this one in another video, and you've probably seen it a couple of other times. But these are what the Collector's Rare looks like in OCG. And this was the, the, the breaking news that we got earlier, what was it, in the week or last week, that when they do the um, Rarity Collection for the TCG at the end of the year, this is the type of collector's rare we're going to be getting. So these are the new, these are going to be the new collector's rare, which look fantastic. They look way better. They f actually feel like a real combination of the rarity of the borders being prismatic, shuffled, and, and edged out, and ultimate rare combined. So they look absolutely fantastic, and I cannot wait to get this rarity type in the TCG to, to replace the current collector's rare. Because the current collector's rare, they're cool, but, you know, they just this just looks fantastic. I'm sorry. Just looking at the prismatic foiling at the angles, it just looks great. So, got my lovely sleeve for that here. Does this one fit? Oh, yes, it does. I'm about to say, did I, did I get another short sleeve out of here? So, we'll go ahead and put that up here. All right, so there's a collector's rare out of the set, so I'm pretty positive. I don't know, remember what the rarity pool was. I don't remember if you get a collector's rare, you can't pull blue eyes, or how that works, or whatever, but we're going to keep seeing on that one. And then another parallel. And then last four packs. I also don't think, it, actually, you know what? It might've been in 2023 that we didn't get a collector's rare. Usually each of these boxes have one collector rare in them at the absolute least. Um, 
I'd have to go back and check to see if it was the 22 box that didn't have it or it was the 2023 box that didn't have it. One of the boxes I pulled, I was like, okay, well, I should get one collector's rare. Didn't have it in there, which kind of was confusing. So I don't know if that set particularly didn't have a collector's rare. And it might not have had one, and I just never noticed. You know, they just have... Um, <laughs> They have uh, 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 molded me, they have conditioned me into looking for out of particular sets, failing to realize that that particular set doesn't have one. Um, this was a uh, D -toy, bo toy box and a super rare. I feel like we pulled a lot more super rares than we did last time as well. And then we pulled two ultras, a bunch of supers, and of course the one collector's rare. Alrighty, Royal Straits, Rollerball, Cicada, whatever that card was, and then Link Apple. All right, last pack of this box. It looks like at this point, we would be going to a part three, which means I need to order another box. But I'm not gonna just order another box right away. I'm probably gonna order another box when I make another order from UB Market at some point in time. Because um, I know they're doing sets that were with the Exodia pieces, so as they kind of release, I'll probably buy a box at that point in time, and with these being on sale. Cobalt Eagle, I'm glad I finally remembered his name. Doodle Beast, and then another parallel rare of this monster. So. Still missing one Crystal Beast monster. Uh, well, I don't think I'm actually missing it. I think I pulled it from the last time. But essentially, we pulled six of the seven Crystal Beasts. And then, of course, this lovely collector's rare of the G-Golem boss monster. So um, that's going to conclude this opening. Probably one of the fastest openings that we've done on the channel. I probably have one faster because I do have an anniversary pack, which is basically just one single pack of seven or nine cards. So that'll probably come up later in the channel. So the record for this opening will be broken <laughs> at some point in time. But if you did like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know. Give us your feedback. Let us know your comments. A lot more videos are going to be coming in the way. Some master videos are dropping. Passer playlist is going to be coming back. Of course, we have our weekly Wednesday streams, um, my unboxings that are going to happen at least once a week for the most part. Um, since there's a lot more sets coming out, there'll be a little more of that kind of going on. My dibble and dabble into a new card game that I actually discovered today. Um, was it the Disney? Um, Disney something. It's uh, I can't remember the name of the already. Just, just lost my mind. I just discovered it today. Might be talking about that in the future. That drops actually in August. So we'll see how that kind of thing goes. But any kind of games, anything that you guys would be interested in watching, leave them in the comments. Let us know. Um, in the meantime, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. This is King Zeph from No Time to Explain. I'm out.